Hey guys, so today I'm going to do the Easy Chicken Karma. It's not the one from the Slimming World site, it's the one from Pinterest that we found the ingredients on there and the method. It doesn't have tomatoes in. I've taken a picture on my phone of the ingredients for you. My phone's taking pictures by itself because it's magic like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to chop up all the ingredients, show you how to do that, although I'm pretty sure you know how to chop. Uh, unless you don't, sorry. I'm not brilliant at it either. Uh, bang it all in a pan, cook that up and see how it tastes. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how this setup's going to work. I don't know if this, my voice is going to come across or if I'll have to do one upstairs like I did before. But this one's going to record me chopping and the other one's going to take pictures of it. And yes. Now, the onion... <coughs> I love the... the onion needs browning first, so I'll start with that. Always use protection when cutting onions because we want you to know all about the problems and make you cry. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Oh, she's got a nice pair of goggles. He looks super awesome like this. He doesn't get you. Get rid of the skin. It's weird like talking as you're doing things along because. I'm literally just chopping an onion. I'll, what do I talk about with that? I'm insane onion chopping skills. Uh, no particular way, it depends how you want it. If you want it chunky, do it chunky. If you want it thin, do it thin. Diced, triangles, little stars if you've got any time on your hands. I don't. Uh, but yeah, it's not. Goggles. You don't make them dry. Oh, the rough chop. There we go. Bang that on. Bang it on. Oh, well, let's chop now. Five. Get on five. Try Brown them off. I might do it guys. Brown them off. Until the brown. Brown them off until the brown, yeah, do that. Someone got my bike outside, not me. I don't know who it is. I live near a road. Uh, and then move on to the chicken. One second. House up. So everything's thrown everywhere else. This is a really odd angle. I don't like the feeling of chicken on my fingers. I like to get all surgical. but I should let the goggles off this. I look like a right weirdo. This is how I normally cook. Bring out the biohazard suit and stuff. Also, very fussy with chicken. Don't like that bit. Don't like any of them bits. You know the white bits or the brown bits in it. I can't eat them. Put me off. But the cat eats the rest. My granddad's got a cat called Asimov. It's a demon. He hates me. Don't know why I've never run out to that cat. So you just want chunks of chicken? I will probably slow it all down. Uh, slow it all down. Speed it all up so you're not like watching me cut a load of chicken.
Oh, she bought. Can I go to the I was not going to go. Because it's something to be on raw chicken. And then, technically, so that's a lot of watching me. Just don't know how this is going to work. I hope it does. If not, I'll pop over and then try and just put an audio file onto the visual and have the. Blast it all down. I got a very nice comment on Facebook that I spotted and honestly it made my entire day and not from like a egotistical stance but from a oh my god people are actually watching these and and liking them and wanting to tell me that they're liking them or oh, this one were asking me if I joined the group, the group and I had joined the group from another woman who does uh, Slimming World Vlogs, she, she'd invited me to join this group quite a few days ago and I had and this other woman who watched my videos uh, had commented could could please invite me to the group if you haven't already and, and she loves my videos and you know it really choked me, yeah, choked me up a bit I didn't expect it at all when I first started any of this I didn't expect one person to, I thought the only person watching it would be me and turns out not so much. I don't know where it's come from, but thank you guys. Onions are browning. Well, slowly and steadily. And I will take a picture of some top. That's a big jar of coffee. Uh, because I don't know when my sweetener runs out. I like to make a giant coffee in one of the one of the jars, just because I get more coffee. Although most of my cups are like pint cups anyway. Just cut the bottom of the stems off because then they got mud on them, which isn't but it's compost. Like I watched the thing, you know, that like how it's made stuff, and they did one on mushrooms, and I know logically where mushrooms come from. Like, I know they grow in manure and stuff, but when you see it all there and they're all in the compost and that, and then, you know, you get the black bits on your mushrooms, like, oh, that's not dirt. And now I know it's not dirt, it makes it even weirder. Which, if you didn't know it wasn't dirt, sorry. It's not. Ah, attack my mushroom so I'm going to want these chunky. It's raining. It's really raining. I love rain. I really love rain. Might have to go out later. Get some more body magic done. There's only going to be me eating this. So it's like an overkill. But I've always got dinner tomorrow. a better system for doing this I think so I don't think this is working and I won't know until I check but anyway right once your onions have been on for about five minutes put your chicken in brown that all good and you're gonna want to boil the kettle or chicken stock yeah that's the word I want chicken stock to have two cloves of garlic but I like garlic like I would normally put like a full bulb in but I don't want to deviate so much so that this isn't the recipe it's just my take but I guess that's all what Slimming World is really. I mean, it's, it's a lot of different people's takes on a lot of the same meals. 
But for this one, when I'm trying it out, I'll try and stick as close as possible. Oh no, I've got it in the nail. His hands are going to absolutely stink of garlic now. Which I don't like it. Come on. Garlic skin impeding my progress. I've normally got music on when I'm cooking, like dancing around the room like an idiot. Uh, which is good because I mean that's extra body magic as well. Uh, but it's really odd cooking without music. But if I put music, if I had music on, it'd just copyright my video and I'd get in trouble by the copyright police, which is totally a real thing. Uh, 250 mils of chicken stock. Now, some of these are like half a sin. The stock ones are free. Yeah, yeah, they're free. I mean, I'll check that out. But I do know some of the North Stock ones are sinned. <coughs> but I don't think anyone's are. I think if, if it's the stock, it's not if it's the like gravy thing then that's sin so don't know cooking's not my specialty not really nothing really my specialty I'm also having to get no, no. That's all I've seen that video. Yeah. I'm also having to get used to um, using an oven again because I haven't had an oven for the past two years. I've been cooking everything in this, which I'm having chips with this instead of rice, and they turn out better in there because I haven't mastered using an oven yet. That, that's the only reason why. So, cooking is an, a, a different thing for me again. Warm. It's raining and it's warm. Weather. Chicken's taking forever to brown, I don't know why. Have you tried the new coconut bars? It was the first time we had them in group today because as it fell when they came out, this was our next group and I'm also having to get no, no. that's all I've seen that video. Yeah. I'm also having to get used to um using an oven again because I haven't had an oven for the past two years I've been cooking everything in this which I'm having chips with this instead of rice and they turn out better in there because I haven't mastered using an oven yet that, that's the only reason why so cooking is an, a, a different thing for me again warm. it's raining and it's warm <sighs> weather chicken's taking forever to brown I don't know why Have you tried the new coconut bars? It was the first time we had them in group today because as it fell when they came out, this was our next group and they are dangerous. They're so dangerous. I've, I've eaten all five already. I ate all five before dinner time. That's how bad they are. I had three in group. They're so good because it is just like a bounty. But if you are vegetarian or vegan, don't have them. Unless you're okay with gelatine, because they have gelatine in. The other ones don't. Uh, I didn't know this. My friend from group who is, uh, she's a vegetarian, and she's like, oh, I can't have them. What? I didn't know. Everyone else is. So check. Because 
I'm basically saying the seven, say, seven same things over and over again. The same thing seven times over and over again. But you're used to it by now. Come on, chicky. What are you playing at? Come seasoning. The Swartz one. Swartz. 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 Swartz one. Swartz one. Swing, swing. This one is the best one I found. Uh, I didn't like the supermarket owner. It's too. I don't know. Left a weird taste. Too much coriander, I think. Now I'm just going to drain the water. There ain't a lot of it, but I'd rather it not be there at all. Oh, actually, there's more in the pot. That might help it brown a bit quicker. A few more squirts of that fry light. I don't know how to cook with that anymore. You know, like dripping. My granddad uses dripping. Uh, but I don't think I would. I won't know how much to use. Right, when it's cooked ish, you know, like outside of it. You're going to want a tablespoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of them. I'm going to say the orange spoon, but you don't all have orange spoons. Tablespoon. And <laughs> the condensation just hit it and it all turned to, you know. Anyway. Tablespoon. Oh, come on. Do this sort of stuff. I broke it. <laughs> See, Bella, this is why we can't have nice things. Right. Yeah, the condensation I got in because I have a tendency to pour stuff over the pan while it's on. That's all it's done. <coughs> right, don't pour over the pan. Pour over the thing. This is free anyway, so you can use as much as you want. It's mainly to your own uh, uh, taste buds. Taste buds, that's what you want. And get that really cooked in. I'm not loving curries. I don't like them. There's this one takeaway place in Castleford that every so often when my dad goes over to it, he'll give me a ring. He's like, Zig, I'm off for a curry. Do you want one? And it's the only place I like them from. Uh, and I've only ever had one, which is a plain meat curry and mushrooms. And no coriander because it tastes like washing up liquid. Anyone else get that? Coriander tastes like washing up liquid. I think it's horrible. I've never had it where it's, I've gone, mmm, that dish soap is beautiful. Never happened. This is 22 minutes long already, <laughs> so I've nearly done. This is going to need to write it in. Write it in. I am going to put more karma sauce in because I like it to actually taste the karma. The thing on that says one and a half tablespoons. I ate one and a half in it, and I need a good two, and then I'll taste it, and then if it needs more. But I like flavours, I like lots of flavour. And I'm not putting sweetener in it, because last time I put sweetener in it, it tasted... You've got that artificial flavour with sweetener, and, and you get used to it. And, I mean, I actually kind of prefer it now. But then again, I haven't had sugar in coffee in over a year and a half. Maybe if someone gave me sugar in a coffee, I'd be like, oh my god. I don't know. But... When I put it in, I could definitely taste the tang of sweetener over everything else. And I only put in, like, 
putting that of sweetener, and that is an eighth of a teaspoon, 0.6 mil. What's that even for? Nothing, nothing is flavouring that. Well, I've just said sweetener flavour, it's obviously it does work on certain things, depending on the strength. I've got to stop talking shite. Right, peppers. I'm just throwing peppers in a pan. Don't need to angle the camera to see that, do you? Probably not. Probably don't even need to see a whole of this. I don't even know why. Peppers. Oh, shh. Shitake mushrooms. See, I tried to do everything all nice on a chopping board so you could all see it all being done. I mean, completely fucked myself up. <laughs> Oh, right, garlic in. That's a lot of garlic. I like a lot of garlic. Oh, I'll put mushrooms into later because mushrooms take seconds to cook and I hate mushy food. I like to taste my food. Fascinating, isn't it? Watching me sit the uh, stirring. Yay! <laughs> Should probably put the chicken stuff in now. Garlic, tomato garlic. Blah. I like garlic, I don't like garlic that much. Guys, brown tailspoon corn sauce, 200 ml chicken stock. I'll put 250, but I'll cook it down more. I always burn up. I like my food burnt, not burnt, burnt, but not al dente either. A little bit more than that. Pepper chopped, onion chopped, browned. I have a couple of peas still in the freezer to be got. Mushrooms chopped. More like at the end, not at the end, later, after the simmering. This is my own writing, I can't even read my own writing. I was probably thinking of something else as I wrote it. Right. I think I'm just going to use the videos from this, like, cut down a lot, obviously. Because uh, you don't need to see me cooking, cutting chicken for an hour. Why does technology hate me? My laptop's on the wing. My phone's gone. I don't get it. I just repel technology. Take the picture, please. There we go. Yes. So, sip and sip of coffee. Stock. Stir. See, I don't have like enough stock for me. And that's extra stock. Is that like enough stock for you? It's a very big pan, but I have put a lot of chicken in it. more in because that's going to weird the taste out, innit? I think. Maybe if I lower it down. Because isn't the stock supposed to cover the chicken? I don't think so. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. Because the picture... The I couldn't find the recipe that we'd used before. So I, I texted my mate and I was like, have you got that karma recipe? And she sent me that. That's literally focus. That's all it says. There's no methods. 
and also eat peppers and garlic and other stuff. I like flavour. I like a lot of flavour. You need flavour. Otherwise your taste buds get bored and that's when you slip back. Or uh, that's when I slip back. Salt. Huge salt bean. If you don't use salt, don't use salt. <laughs> oh god. Pepper. I don't think it'll need a lot of pepper with it having corma sauce. I just like salt and pepper. Oh, God. My phone is going mental today. Yes. Sorry. I'm putting this down anyway. Sure, it doesn't matter. Right. I think we leave the lid on this and let it simmer. See, that's not covered in stock. No. That chicken's not in. I'll sort this out in a second. That stock's not covering the chicken and it's weirding me out because how's it going to cook it all? And I've got an itchy nose again. Oh, my hair was supposed to be blue. Like you saw me earlier on with the, with the, uh, the blonde on. Because I bought a blue and a blonde last week and it didn't work. The blonde didn't take. And then today I put the blue on and that didn't take. It came out like this. Oh, grey matter that chugged through puddle mud. Oh no. And the only other dye the only other dye I had in was a, an old pink because my hair used to be blue and pink, so I know blue does work. Just want having that. Right, good. That looks alright. It looks like food. Which is always a good thing to look like. Bubbling away, that's not some yeah. right now. This is probably really just me. I know the difference between a simmer and a boil, like a simmer's a little bit and a boil's boiling. But when it says leave to a simmer, how do I know that that simmer's everyone else's simmer? Like, because this is a simmer, or what I call a simmer, but it seems a bit rapid. But if I turn it down anymore, it's just tepid which wouldn't be a simmer at all i think that's a simmer but it's a boiling simmer right there boiling simmer right my laptop's gonna run out of battery i haven't done any of this on phone which i said i was going to do so this is gonna be a right mess isn't it or it's gonna be a mess for me to try and edit queen of never editing anything again it's been half an hour so i need to mushrooms I need to put mushrooms in it and peas oh god maybe that's what <laughs> maybe that's what I'll uh, take the simmering boil down to a simmering simmer after cooking after cooking it rice but I'm not a massive rice rice rubber no no mother hubbard I am not a massive rice lover I like rice I just find it bland what am I in here for I do however really like trees yeah that's what we want trees I like trees Broccoli, I like broccoli. So I'm having it with chips and broccoli. Is the main thing that that 10 minute ramble had to be a, a, a little bit. I'm going to stop. I've been talking now for. I can't see the timer. 42 minutes. Probably shouldn't have taken that long, but that's how long it's taken. It says not to add. I know from last time you don't add the yogurt until you are eating eating it like five minutes before you're eating it because it can split oh my if this if that splits this sauce i am going to be less than impressed there's not enough sauce in that i'm putting more water in i have to 
Fair enough. And also, because I've only had one in and it says one and a half, I'm going to do two. Okay, we want. I'll do one and a half and then taste it later. Later. Five hours later, Zara learned how to cook the shit bugger. Because mushrooms are flour. Like spongy sponges. Food sponges. Although I used to eat sponges as a kid. Fat sponges. Like, but a lot of people do that. That's that's not a me thing. A lot of people do do that. Eat sponges. I never swallowed them. Just chewed them. Still do. And only mine. <laughs> I don't go to friends' houses and start shoving my mouth full of sponges. <laughs> How are we doing? No. That bit's definitely coming out. Dang them. Right, that looks... It actually looks quite good. I'm pleased with it. It looks like a proper meal. I shall show you. Et voila. Minus the... This. But it's quite interesting. Mushrooms, peas, peppers, onions, chicken. Stuff. Stock. Yes. Yes. Happy, happy. Woo woo. Yay. Right. I will put this back on when I pour the thing in. Hopefully it doesn't split. If it does split... Well, I'm blaming my granddad, it's my granddad's fault. Stop making myself split. I'm gonna go talk to him now. And I'll see you all in a bit. Because I'm probably gonna have to do all the talking. I don't know why I'm saying this again, but I'm gonna go have a cigarette and a sit down and a new coffee. Of course, my other coffee is gone. Hmm. Okay, then. <laughs> bye. Right, so here's the finished product. It does lose quite a bit of vibrancy in the cooking. Uh, I'm not going to show you me eating it because that'd be weird, especially not a whole meal. Because again, super weird. But I'm going to flip it round. I'm going to flip it round, which I've just done. So I don't know if I said that and taste a bit. That's good. Mm. It's super creamy, which is really weird because it doesn't look it. But with that yogurt added in, it's got that creamy linger. I could probably do with a bit more yogurt, me. I could probably do with like one and a half, maybe two. Right, I'm going to enjoy my meal. See you later.